Hi, my name is Olivia and I'm the founder of Hello Chef. I'm really excited to introduce this first episode of our Chef's Choice vlog. On the vlog we'll be cooking together one of our favorite recipes for the week, uh, the Chef's Choice recipe. And before we get started with the cooking, if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for some more. Let's get cooking! So today we're cooking the pulled hoisin chicken burger with sesame fries and this is our chef's choice for next week. The reason we've chosen this recipe is because of the way we treat the chicken a little bit uh, is different and we really think this is um, a great recipe to choose for next week. So let's see what's inside the box. Uh, we've got the bread buns from a German bakery. We've got potatoes. We've got some nice fresh local spring onions, a local cucumber, we've got a lime and then we've got the sesame seeds, the mayonnaise, hoisin sauce and a bit of soya sauce. Um, in addition we have the chicken, uh, it's al rauda chicken, it's a fresh chicken, hormone free, antibiotic free and we've chosen the chicken thigh because it's going to give a nice pulled element to the burger and also a little bit more fat in it so it will have more flavor. Let's get started! So I'm going to start with the potatoes. Here the step one is to start baking the fries. So my oven is on at 200 degrees Celsius and to be honest the potatoes are so clean that I'm not going to even uh, peel them. I'll just quickly rinse them to get rid of some of the, some of the dust. Okay, so we're gonna fry the, the chicken thighs. Uh, chicken thighs have quite a bit of fat on the skin. So here, on the recipe card, we tell you to add a bit of oil on your pan um, because we like things that taste really nice. But if you're a little bit finicky about that, you don't even need any oil. Just put your chicken skin down on the pan. And as soon as the pan gets really hot, the chicken skin is gonna start browning nicely. ml of water. So we're going to cover the chicken and we're going to reduce the heat and the chicken is going to slowly cook in the in the sauce and that's what's going to make it nice and cold. So we'll see the chicken again in 10 minutes. Let's go chop the vegetables. So a sharp knife is everything in the kitchen and if you don't feel confident enough to sharpen your own knife what you do is you make really good friends with your favorite restaurant's chef or your butcher and the next time you go you take your knives with you and just say please would you mind and um, I've never had anybody refuse sharpening my knives for me.
just going to cut into a nice fat one, this one, look how beautiful it is, and see whether it's nice and soft inside. This one starts to be, starts to be ready so we can move forward. Mm. Again, sesame seeds are those that they divide people, so in case you're not sure if your fussy eaters are going to eat the sesame seeds, you can just leave them out or toast them lightly on a pan, frying pan, and then add them to your portion only. There we go. All right, so these chickens are looking very, very tender. And you can see how the sauce has reduced and become thicker. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the hoisin sauce. The hoisin sauce has some sweetness in it and some thickness in it. And it's going to be a really good. So in addition to the pulled hoisin chicken burger, we've got lots of really fun recipes for you next week. Uh, you can select the recipes by using the link below and leave us a comment and let us know what you'll be cooking next week. Bon appétit!